Year 10 and 11, welcome to your quick revision on the character Enfield from Dr Jekyll and Mr Hyde in preparation for your English Literature exam. Firstly then, Enfield is a distant relative of Utterson. He is a well-known man about town and is the complete opposite to Utterson, which we're going to have a look at through this video, okay? His importance is that he represents the ideal gentleman of the Victorian age, or so we think, okay? So have that in mind. He has a strong sense of morals and good manners, okay? He begins the mystery by telling the story of the girl who is trampled. Basically, we see him twice in the text and both times he is on his Sunday afternoon walk with Miss Dodderson. On both walks, they pass by the door that prompts Mr Enfield to tell the story of the door. Mr Enfield's one other notable characteristic is a lack of curiosity regarding the unusual. And that is why he is the opposite to Utterson. So Utterson is really interested in this story about this deformed ape-like man, ape-like figure, trampling a girl and wants to know more and wants to... um find out what's happened or who it is Enfield doesn't and he doesn't want to ask questions we'll go over that quotation in a little while and we, again we need to think about well why is that it's as if he's okay with this with this weird man um and the incident of the trampoline uh he is the one that urges Hyde to pay the check he is the foil to Mr. Utterson's curiosity. So as I've said, the direct opposite of one another. He represents typical Victorian values. He understands the importance of reputation. He pressures Hyde into pain for his crime. Quote, make his name stink from one end of London to the other. Remember, reputation is hugely important in this novella. Um, Jekyll wants to protect his reputation, which is why he uh, has this obsession with the duality of mankind because he commits his crimes and he sins when he's hide. He says he doesn't like to gossip because that can potentially ruin a reputation and after he tells Utterson about Hyde we get this, he's ashamed of his long tongue. People wonder what Utterson and Enfield see in each other and why they're friends, as I've just said, because they're opposites. And we get what these two could see in each other as a, as, a, as a quote in terms of people not really... Uh, people not really understanding how they are, as I say, close friends. Um, they don't have a lot in common, but they're drawn together. This links to Jekyll and Hyde and how they are also brought together. And we get this quote when they, ha when they have their Sunday meetings, their Sunday stroll, their Sunday walk. Their meetings are the chief jewel of each week. So that's um, an easy metaphor to analyse, really. There is a subtle hint that Enfield might have committed or done something immoral or something bad or something suspect. Because he is returning from, quote, some place at the end of the world. It is 3 a.m. in the morning. He witnesses the trampling. We wonder where he's been, what he's been doing. Is this the reason that he doesn't ask questions about Hyde's activities, doesn't press, isn't curious? Is it because he himself has something that he also wants to hide? Is it then a wider suggestion by Robert, Robert Louis Stevenson that a lot of people during Victorian society who were trying to protect their re reputation would commit immoral things in secret? Um, as I've said, in terms of not interested in Hyde and asking questions, quote, the more it looks like Queer Street, the less I ask. It's a suggestion that everyone is a secret sinner in Victorian England, perhaps even Enfield. Because remember, everybody else that sees Hyde um, is horrified or wants to know who he is. Um, Enfield just doesn't. Quote, a blackmail house is what I call the place with the door in, in consequence. So again, if, if we get a question actually about setting and things like that, the door here, um, Enfield calls it blackmail house. Because um, remember one of the reasons they think Jekyll is protecting or covering for Hyde is through blackmail. 
So obviously we've got the reference to the door here and we've got a link to hide. Another quick quote we can be using. But I have studied the place for myself, continued Mr Enfield. It seems scarcely a house. There is no other door and nobody goes in or out. So look at that, nobody goes in or out. We've got again this theme of secrecy and um, and the fact that they're drawn to the door where Hyde has entered and, and the fact that it doesn't really seem like a house. And this is so ho, isn't it? This is um, Stevenson using the duality of mankind through his setting as well. But notice that Enfield studied the door and it doesn't look like a house and nobody goes in, nobody leaves. And then look at this quote which does link Utterson and, and Enfield together that they loathe the sight of Hyde when they see him. You know, that is forceful, that, that's hate. So they know off sight that they dislike him. So again, we've got appearance here. If we if we got a question about appearance and what Stevenson's trying to tell us. When he's describing the trampling, the horrible part of the thing for the man tramples calmly over the girl's body and after screaming on the ground. Uh, easy to analyze again in terms of your language analysis. Look at your adverb calmly. It's quite chilling, it's quite haunting that this man would trample on an innocent child and not only that, but do it in a calm fashion. And Enfield also says, I never saw a circle of such hateful faces and there was the man in the middle with a kind of black, sneering coolness. And he's the person that first links Hyde to Satan in that simile like Satan and the devil and then again, we have uh, bigger themes at play, good versus evil, heaven versus hell, moral versus immoral. The fact that all of the faces in the crowd hate Hyde again, it's mentioned here. And this is all through Enfield's eyes and Enfield's description, don't forget. And then and then in the chapter, the incident at the window where they see Jekyll at his window and uh, he begins to transform, we get froze the very blood. Both Utterson and Enfield react in the same way when they see Jekyll about to transform. Again, easy easy to analyse that. They are so terrified that their blood freezes. They are um, reacting in the same way because of this awful sight that they are witnessing. Okay? Um, again, as I said, this was just quick revision on Enfield. Some quick quotations. Um, think about his character. He's the opposite to Utterson. He's not curious about Hyde. He's not curious about the crimes that's being committed. Um, he is about preserving reputation we wonder if there's something suspect about him because he's returning from someplace at the end of the world in the middle of the night and because he doesn't press um, Hyde in terms of his activity or in terms of who he is. So we, we suspect that actually Enfield might have something in his past or might be up to something as well. Okay, I hope this has been useful. Massive good luck in your exam.